May Day by Jeffrey Kent, photographed by Minako Ishii. Since the very beginning of King Kamehameha the Great's rule, the kingdoms of Hawaii and Great Britain have shared a mutual admiration for celebrations, royalty, and flowers. This mutual respect was shown when Queen Kapi'olani and the future Queen Liliuokalani visited England to celebrate Queen Victoria's coronation jubilee. It was shown again when England's Queen Mother danced with Hawaii's Duke Kahanamoku. In fact, Hawaii's Lei Day comes from the traditional version of May Day that originated over 700 years ago in England with the display of Mayflowers and Maypole dances. In Bretham, England, May Day is celebrated with a procession of young maidens wearing flower garlands and carrying beautiful bouquets. They are joined by young boys dressed as English characters. Every year they crown a new May Day queen. In 1928, the first Lei Day celebration was held in Honolulu. The traditions of exchanging May baskets and Maypole dances were blended into the Hawaiian customs of sharing lei and hula, and thus the phrase was coined, May Day is Lei Day in Hawaii. Today, Lei Day is a very special opportunity to honor the Hawaiian custom of expressing aloha by making, giving, and receiving lei. In celebration of Lei Day, school children throughout the islands learn about the many customs and cultures found in Hawaii. A May Day queen and king are selected along with the royal court to represent the Hawaiian kingdom of old. The eight major islands are represented by the royal court. Hawaii red, Maui pink, Oahu yellow, Moloka'i green, Kaho'olawe gray, Kauai purple, Iihau white, and Lanai orange. The most special lady celebration is held in Honolulu at Queen Kapi'olani Park where the spirit of aloha takes center stage. It is a day to remember Hawaii's past while celebrating its future. On this day, both keiki and adult lei makers participate in a competition to see who can make the most beautiful lei. Each year, the selection of the lei queen rotates between three different categories. Navahine opio, the young women. Namakuahine, the adult women. And Nakupunahine, the grandmothers. Hula performers wear a lei and dance hula in honor of the lei queen, lei princesses, and lei de. Hawaiian musicians, handcrafters, and hula halau also celebrate the newly crowned lei queen and her lei princess. On the following day, the prize winning lei are brought to the royal burial grounds. The lei queen and the lei princesses select their favorite lei. And with their lei of aloha, they gently make a final offering to Hawaii's royal past.